Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. The 6-5 and five North Dakota State Bison taking on the 11-0 fourth ranked Bryant Bulldogs in a rematch from our FCS North Tournament before this series even got started. Now, I think Bryant is going to win this game. That is my prediction. Uh, I do think it's going to be a little bit closer than most people think. North Dakota State has had some success this season running the football, uh, especially with Zoomer Speed last week against Sam Houston State. And that game was just phenomenal. Oh, not last week, but week 13. You know what I'm saying. Their last game they played. So I'm looking forward to seeing him today. But I do think Brandon Allen is going to be the biggest difference in this game. He's got... 1,749 yards on the ground, 29 touchdowns, just an absolute stud. He also has six touchdown receptions and a touchdown pass. So he is a phenom, and I'm pretty excited to watch the halfback matchups today. A.J. Jordan, of course, no slouch either at halfback for Bryant. Over 1,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, seven catches, 216 yards and a score for him. As we take a quick look at the rosters, Anders Harladay, the right tackle, is going to be suspended for this game. We'll see that here in a moment. Um, he has 40 pancakes and 8 sacks allowed this season. And let's take a look here. Academics, he was caught plagiarizing on his class paper. And, I mean, obviously, you, you can't do that. So, he will be missing this game, their final regular season game of the year. North Dakota State is bowl eligible at 6-5. They're somehow ranked 27th nationally. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't think they deserve to be in the top 30. Probably not even the top 50. But here we go. Getting ready for the opening kickoff. The Bison will receive it. And we will see Kelvin Jasper Jr. And this Bison offense come on out. Of course, Kelvin Jasper Jr. had one of the most phenomenal runs this entire season against Sam Houston State. If you go back and check that out, top three plays of the entire season. Here's Zoomer Speed on the opening kickoff up past the 40 and down at the 48-yard line. Starting off with some fireworks. Fantastic play. That'll give this offense great field position as we start our full broadcast matchup. The Bryant Bulldogs taking on the Bison of North Dakota State. Crowd going crazy. And they're going to start off with the toss play. Zuber Steve tries to cut it back inside. He goes nowhere on that one. We'll get stopped by the defense. The defense is led by Divine Adams at defensive tackle. Ruben Blueberry at defensive end. Stephon Okafor outside linebacker. Cy Summers outside linebacker. And Tadian Moss at the cornerback position for Bryant. And here, oh my goodness, Zoomer Speed runs over Owens, the non-subscriber defensive end who has had a phenomenal season. But Zoomer Speed goes nowhere anyway. Huge tackle for a loss of one yard, and that was Divine Adams with a big hit. His 23rd tackle for a loss this season. And the offense for the Bison looks like this. Kelvin Jasper Jr. under center. Zoomer Speed, the starting halfback now, and Tahoka Nantico. The other halfback, Cameron May at fullback. And Ryan Erwandowski is at receiver. Let's see if Erwandowski gets the pass here from Jasper to the end zone. Picked off. And that was not even close. It was intended for Ryan Erwandowski. And Tatum basically ran the route. That was not a good throw from Calvin Jasper Jr. His 19th pick on the season. And to round out the offense for North Dakota State, Max Hawthorne is at tight end. Jake Harlow at tackle. And Anders Harliday, of course, is suspended. He is the right tackle. Now switching things up. Bryant, they're on offense now. Let's take a look at their offense. Noel Montanez at quarterback. Brandon Allen, A.J. Jordan, both halfbacks, over 1,000 yards rushing. L.J. Topher and Snoopy Tucker at receiver. And here is Brandon Allen. Oh, my goodness, he almost broke that one. He stepped out of bounds after a five-yard reception. That's his 24th catch of the year. And Kenneth Harrington is the left tackle for Bryant. 85 pancakes, only one sack allowed all season long. And he is in the running for the best offensive lineman award. 
Bryant, 525 yards average per game on offense. Phenomenal stats as Montanez looks to throw it all day. Chucks it up deep downfield, and it's caught by Snoopy Tucker. And he's going to take it the distance just like that. His 23rd catch on the year is a 75-yard touchdown reception. That's his eighth touchdown catch of the season, and that leads the team. Just overtook LJ Topher, who also had seven touchdowns coming into this game. Huge reception, and that's going to get him to 628 yards receiving on just 23 catches. And the Bulldogs, just fireworks to start off. They get a pick in the end zone and a huge touchdown pass to their slot receiver. Montanez with his 25th touchdown pass of the year. That gives him 30 total. He has five on the ground. And the extra point is up and good. Two play, 80 yard drive. 80 yards passing so far for Noel Montanez. That's gonna give him 2,360 yards passing for the season. And with two games left, counting the ACC title game, and whatever bowl game they get, he will most likely get to 3,000 yards passing for the season, which is very good considering that both halfbacks have over 1,000 yards rushing on the year. Brandon Allen will most likely finish with 2,000 yards on the ground, and he needs one more touchdown for 30 on the season. So this offense has a lot of firepower. And here is Zoomer Speed returning the ensuing kickoff, and he doesn't even get to the 20 this time, taken down at about the 18-yard line. And I'll give him credit for the 19. And we didn't even get a chance to take a look at the Bison defense. We'll do that next drive. Jasper Jr. under center. Now for these guys to be successful today, they can't be doing that. Zoomer Speed with a rare fumble. That's his second fumble on the season. He had his first against Sam Houston State. Oh my goodness, that could have been disastrous. They lose three yards. Luckily, an offensive lineman fell on it. But the Bison, they need to get Max Hawthorne involved. He is a very good tight end. Very underutilized. Only 23 catches on the year. 565 yards and five scores. And they keep going to Zoomer's speed. And Bryant is keying on him. And it's not looking good so far. As Speed has lost five yards on the last two carries. 106 in the nation on third down conversion percentage at 36 percent. That is awful for a team that runs the football. Kelvin Jasper Jr. hit as he throws, almost picked off by Tadian Moss, and that would have been his sixth on the year. That's his 12th pass deflection, and just like that, North Dakota State is going to have to punt the football away, and this game could get ugly quick unless their defense comes through and gets a stop here on this come upcoming drive. And the punt, not very far down the field to about the 38. LJ Topher is going to return it up to the 45 or 46 yard line. And he has two punt returns for scores on the season. He has been fantastic. He also has a kick return for a touchdown and seven touchdown receptions. All right, let's take a look at the Bison defense. Dio Langston. At defensive end, he'll play some outside linebacker as well. Zeke Runde and Austin Bracey, both middle linebackers. But they get switched around around the field quite a bit, actually. You'll see uh, Marunde play some defensive end once in a while. Austin Bracey will play some outside linebacker. And Dio Langston will drop down to defensive end as well. Langston is basically playing a position like James Harrison or Joey Porter of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Second down and five, two tight ends set. A.J. Jordan, the tight end at the right of the screen. Montanez to throw it. Deep shot again, deflected away, almost picked off. And Zoomer Speed on the coverage. That is his seventh pass deflection of the year. He's been pretty good on defense. 37 tackles, one for a loss, two picks, and now seven deflections. Those are his defensive stats. Third down and five. Shotgun formation, Montanez hot routing a receiver. And he will throw the football here. Nice block by Harrington. This pass is almost picked off. A dangerous throw intended for the halfback, A.J. Jordan. And a great stop for North Dakota State, a team that only has three subscriber players on defense. Of course, we'll see some Zoomer Speed and Tohoku Nanakoke out there as well. 
shot, but three primary defenders. That is a great stop for that defense. And this punt is all the way down at the 11-yard line. Fair catch by North Dakota State. Let's see if Kelvin Jasper Jr. can get something going for this offense. Maybe use his legs a little bit. He does have over 550 yards rushing on the season and five touchdowns. And he's under center here. He's going to hand it off to Zuber Speed again. Devine Adams had the initial pressure and the non-subscriber defensive tackle made the tackle for a loss of one yard. So the last three or four carries for Zoomer Speed have gone backwards and that is not a good look for a speedy running back. Second down and 11. I formation for the Bison. They'll go option. Jasper's got some space in front of him. First down and more and he'll pick up the first down. About a 14 yard pickup. And that is definitely what the doctor ordered right there as they get something going on their drive here. They need to get some points. Anything. You cannot go away with no points on this drive if you're North Dakota State. Galvin under center. They're going to go out and play again. And maybe an early pitch there, but Stefan Okafor played that perfectly. That's his 19th tackle for loss and his 55th tackle total. He also has three sacks, one pick, five deflections, four forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery on the season. He does it all for this defense. Option play again. Nice fake for Kelvin. He's got the first down. And we're still going. Oh, my goodness. All the way up to the 50-yard line. Oh, no. There's a clipping penalty, though, on Cameron May, the fullback. That is unreal. That's going to flip the field 38 yards. Instead of being on the 49, they're at the 11. And that is a huge mistake by Cameron May, one of the better fullbacks in the country. I just can't believe that. Unreal play. Second down and 24 now. Jasper forced to throw it. Not his forte. And that pass is almost picked off. And there's another flag. Holding on Bomar, the guard. Oh, my goodness. Just keep on backing up. Head coach Slovakia Griffith. Very upset right now. He knows his team cannot afford plays like that. It is now second down and 29 from their own six yard line after getting all the way to the 49. So Kevin Jasper Jr., he's doing his part. The offensive line, Cameron May, they're letting the team down right now. The crowd's getting into it. Calvin can't hot route a receiver. He's gonna have to throw from his own end zone. Held onto it dangerously. And it goes deep, incomplete intended for the non-subscriber receiver. Oh my goodness, third down and 29 upcoming. I say just pound the rock here. Try to get a few extra yards out of it and punt this football away. Play field position battle. You know, you, you can't you can't expect your team to get 29 yards here against a nasty defense like Bryant. Jasper will throw it, though, from his own end zone again. Pressured, he's hit as he throws it, and it's intercepted again. Oh, my goodness. That was a terrible play. Awful call by the head coach, Slovakia Griffith, and an even worse throw by Kelvin Jasper Jr. in a double coverage across the field, off his back foot. Not a good look. His 20th pick on the season. Great field position for Bryant now. And they're already in field goal range. But you got to expect they want more. And his nice pass to the tight end. And he'll get it up to the maybe 11-yard line. And they give him credit for the 12-yard line. So second down and three upcoming. Third in the country, the Bulldogs are in red zone scoring. 92% of the time they reach the 20-yard line, they get in for a touchdown or kick a field goal. Montanez pass intended for the tight end yet again. This time it hits the grass. So a big play coming up now for the Bison defense. They got a chance to hold them to a field goal here at the 12-yard line after giving them great field position to start this drive off. High formation, actually goal line formation. Brandon Allen's going to get the first down. Oh no, Zeke Marunde got there, but he was a little bit too late. It's going to be first and goal now as Brandon Allen looks for his 30th touchdown run on the season. Right. 98 yards of offense so far for Bryant, only seven for North Dakota State. Shotgun formation, two tight ends set. A.J. Jordan in at tight end on the left. 
And Montanez is going to be hit as he throws into the end zone. Almost picked off by Oliver Vinson, the cornerback. Not a good throw from Montanez. He has been known to make some poor decisions. But he's got his team at 11-0 right now. Sitting in the top five in the country. So you can't really fault him too much. He's got 92 yards and a touchdown today. High formation. Allen behind the fullback. Montanez will go play action. Throws it out to the fullback. Trying to break a tackle. Gets taken down at the one-yard line. Great effort for the non-subscriber fullback. That's going to bring up third down and goal from the one-yard line. And another big play. Who's going to step up for the Bison defense? Shotgun formation. Four wide receivers set. They're going to hand it off. Brandon Allen's going to go in untouched. Touchdown number 30 on the ground for that young man. He also has six touchdown receptions and a talk, uh, touchdown toss on the year. Giving him 37 total touchdowns. Not too shabby, I say. Bison in trouble right now. About to be down 14-0 here in Rhode Island. And the extra point is up and good. Easy drive for them. Set up by the defense. Great field position to start off. And Calvin Jasper Jr. needs to play completely perfect for the remainder of this game if they want a chance at an upset victory. And if they do beat Bryant right now, the Bulldogs would not be in contention for the national championship game. They would fall probably to the bottom half of the top ten. And even if they did go on to beat Savannah State in the ACC championship game, I don't think that they would have a shot at the national championship game. Here's Oliver Vincent on the kick return. Bounces it towards the middle. Still going. What a return up to the 35-yard line. Weaving in and out of traffic. The star cornerback. Great field position at the 35-yard line. Now, they can't afford any more mistakes. So, the offensive line... Needs to not get any penalties. Cameron May, nice carry here. Gets nothing. Oh, my goodness. This defense is too beastly. Stephon Okafor, his 20th tackle for a loss. They count it right there. That is crazy. And we have yet to see Cy Summers today, one of my favorite players out of our 12 schools. Second down and 10. Jasper under center goes option. Has some space. And Ruben Blueberry gets there. Zoomer Speed's got the pitch, though. First down and more inside Bryant territory. And that is the best play of the game so far for Zoomer Speed. And it was all set up by the quarterback. Taking a massive hit from Ruben Blueberry. And Speed found the edge. And that is going to be the end of the first quarter. As the Bryant Bulldogs are on top of the North Dakota State Bison here in Rhode Island. The number four Bryant Bulldogs looking to become 12-0 on the season heading into their ACC championship game versus the Savannah State Tigers. High formation set for North Dakota State. And they're going to toss it out to speed, and there we go. There's Cy Summers with a big tackle for a loss. His 28th tackle for a loss this year and his 72nd tackle total. He also has three sacks, or five sacks, excuse me. Three interceptions, one pick six, three pass deflections, four forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery. Jasper on the option, Ruben Blueberry blows that play up. Oh my goodness. Ruben Blueberry, 35 tackles, 16 for a loss coming into this game. Eight sacks, a pass deflection, and two fumbles recovered. And that was a great tackle for a loss right there. Third down and 15. They're going to have to throw it here. This is what you want to do against North Dakota State because of plays like that. And North Dakota State's going to have to punt the football away yet again. Definitely not what they wanted right now here in the second quarter. The crowd is behind that team so far. This insane amounts of noise right now in the stands. Long out for the punt. And that is a beauty all the way down inside the 15-yard line. One of the better plays of the day for North Dakota State. Right. 
worst field position of the day so far for Bryant at the 14 yard line. They're going to go draw play. Dio Langston gets him down. Nice tackle. And Jake Allen has injured his elbow on the play. Hopefully he's all right. That was Dio Langston's 12th tackle for a loss on the season and 35th total tackle. He also has four sacks, two pass deflections, and one forced fumble. Second down and 11 from the 13-yard line. Five minutes remaining here in the first half. Shotgun, Montanez towards the sideline, deflected, it's picked off. This is a huge play for North Dakota State. Definitely what they wanted to happen right here. And they've got great field position. They're in prime field position for their offense to get them back within a touchdown of the number four ranked Bryant Bulldogs. Not a terrible throw, just a great play from the halfback, Zoomer Speed. That's his eighth pass deflection on the season, and that one resulted in a takeaway. Montanez, his 17th interception of the year. Of course, he threw a few of them in the first game of the year, and he settled in pretty quickly. Kelvin Jasper Jr. gets sacked, and that is Owens, his first sack of the game. Non-subscriber defensive end. He's been balling out this year. And I'm looking forward to see what this defensive line can do next season as well with a bit of improvement in the offseason. Jake Allen is out for the game with elbow bursitis. So nothing serious. So he'll be back for the bowl game for North Dakota State. Calvin to throw it. Pressure and he's hit. Oh my goodness, they're lucky that wasn't a fumble. He has yet to complete a pass, folks. Oh, for six. And he's got two interceptions. And that was Divine Adams that applied the pressure right up the middle. He's so hard to cover and block. you got to put two guys on him. And even then, it's hard to contain him. Him and Caleb Chubb, two of the top defensive tackles in the country. Chubb, of course, on UC Davis. They're down at 12. Bison needs something here. Jasper, oh my goodness, wide open for the score. What a throw. Watch him sling it in here. What a dart. Wide open in between the safeties, over top of the linebackers. One of the best throws for Kelvin Jasper Jr. all season. His 16th touchdown pass. That's going to get his team within a touchdown of the Bryant Bulldogs. It's definitely an uphill battle for them. But plays like that make a huge difference. What a throw. And the extra point is up and good. So it's now 14-7 here in the second quarter. Let's see how the Bryant Bulldogs will respond. I expect them to come out pounding the rock a little bit with Brandon Allen. Maybe some passes out to LJ Topher. We have yet to see him on offense today. Snoopy Tucker, of course, had that 75-yard touchdown reception to start things off in the first quarter. Long out for the uh, the kickoff. And that is a deep one, actually. And that's going to be downed by LJ Topher. You don't see that very often in these games yet. The touchbacks on kickoffs. Hopefully in year two with some better kickers after recruiting, we'll see some, some better field goals, some better kickoffs, perhaps. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Shotgun set. Backs in the backfield. Montanez will throw it over the middle. Dangerous pass. That looked like Tohoka Nanako on the coverage. And is actually holding on Kenneth Harrington. A very rare penalty for him. He has been the most solid offensive lineman that we've seen so far this year. We've actually had plenty of great subscriber offensive linemen. But Harrington is just a man amongst boys. Only allowing one sack. What a play to Snoopy Tucker. No way he just broke free from that. Oh, my goodness. Montanez hanging tough in the pocket and somehow connected with Snoopy Tucker. That was a crazy play, to say the least. Second down and nine for the Bulldogs. 86 yards receiving for Snoopy Tucker today and a touchdown. Montanez hands to Brandon Allen, runs over defender, still going, picks up the first down. Dio Langston makes the stop. 
the acceleration, the first step that he takes is so quick. He's already to the line of scrimmage every time. And they're going to go shotgun again here. Allen in the backfield with Montanez. And they're going to throw it. Montanez, left side. That's caught by a non-subscriber receiver. He'll pick up five yards. And another nice play. Nice throw from Montanez. This offense definitely struggled for a little bit this in a couple games this season. Mainly just trying to throw the football a little too much. But once they settled in, they figured out their game. Their bread and butter was the ground game. Uh, they've been unstoppable. And here was a nice tackle by Toka Nana Coke, the halfback, out there playing some linebacker. That's his 37th tackle on the year. He also has four tackles for a loss, a sack. An interception for a touchdown, seven pass deflections, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. Third and five, I formation. Montanez will drop back to throw it. Hit as he throws. This pass is caught by the tight end. He's still going. Oh, my goodness. The tight end with three catches today. Montanez, three consecutive completion. That's a big one for a first down as they look to extend their lead here with three minutes remaining in the second quarter. Gonna go with the fullback here. The non-subscriber fullback still trucking along. He'll pick up six or seven yards. Haven't really seen him used at all in the ground game this year, other than blocking. That'll bring up second down and five. Shotgun set again. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a handoff here. Nope. Montanez keeps it himself, but that was a mistake. He should have handed it off, as he got nothing on that run. Third down and five, another big play here for the Bison defense. They need to stop here with a chance to tie things up. Montanez, quick pass right side of the fullback. And that was Zeke Marunde on the tackle. Huge play by the linebacker. And that is a big stop. The Bison with a chance to tie things up now. If their offense can get something going here. And actually, Bryant has the offense on the field still. They're going to go for it. Fourth and five. Montanez hot routing a receiver. A.J. Jordan in the backfield with Montanez. I'm trying to draw him off sides. Will they snap it? They will snap it. They're going for it. Over the middle. And that is overthrown. Zeke Marunde pumped right now. Making a couple nice plays on that drive. And that pass looked like it was intended for Snoopy Tucker. He laid out for it. Just couldn't quite get there. So a huge stop for North Dakota State. Super speed in the backfield behind Cameron May. And they're going to throw the football here. I don't know why they keep throwing it. That was a nice catch for Ryan Ermandowski, but it is not, uh, does not count. He was out of bounds. That would have been his 20th catch on the year. He has 19 for 502 yards and three scores. Second down and 10. They're going to keep throwing it. And actually, that's going to be a sack. And there's a flag for holding. Oh, my goodness. Holding on Daniels, one of the guards. And they're going to accept it and negate the sack for Owens. So it is going to be second down and 20 for a run-heavy team. Definitely the worst situation you can put this kind of offense in. Because now you're forcing him to throw it. And Kelvin will throw it over the middle. Picked off again. Number 40 is second of the game. Returns it up inside the 15-yard line. Terrible throw from Kelvin Jasper Jr. I don't know what this offense was thinking. Oh, my goodness. Bryant playing this game perfectly right now. Forcing him to throw it. Max Hawthorne, the intended receiver. Uh, the tight end. And that was just a great play by the defender. Great field position again here for Bryant. As they look to punch her into the end zone and extend their lead to two touchdowns. Montanez hot routing a receiver at the top of the screen. He'll throw it that way. LJ Topher has it at the six-yard line. His first catch of the game. 
And it's 33rd on the season. That'll get him over 850 yards receiving this year. Second down and two. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Shotgun formation. Allen next to Montanez. And they will throw it. Montanez to the end zone. It's caught again by Snoopy Tucker. You've got to be kidding me. His ninth touchdown of the year. Second today. Oh, my goodness. What a throw. I'm not sure what Oliver Vincent's doing. He's the best defender. He's actually the best player on North Dakota State, and he had no idea where the ball was right there. So Bryant now extends their lead here with an extra point. It'll be 21 to 7. And the extra point is up and good, so it is 21-7 after a two-play 14-yard drive that took six seconds off the clock. Round and pound, right? Goodness gracious. Zoomer speed and Oliver Vincent back deep to return the kickoff. North Dakota State needs some points here if they want a chance to stay in this game. You cannot afford to not score here because I believe Bryant will get the ball to start the second half. And the kickoff is deep to Zoomer speed from the one yard line and he'll get it up to about the 21. Brandon Allen on the tackle. Or not Brandon Allen, excuse me, A.J. Jordan. Hundred and seventy yards of offense for Bryant, only forty-five for North Dakota State, averaging just over two yards per play. And they are just gonna keep throwing it, and that is a sack stuff on Okafor. His fourth on the season just blows by the right tackle. His outside linebackers for Bryant are too good. I don't know how an option team is gonna run the option against Cy Summers and Stephon Okafor. It's just not a good matchup. It's a nightmare. Second down and 17. If I was the Bison, I would just run this clock out at this point. You're just going backwards. And they're going to keep throwing it. And Calvin actually escapes for maybe three yards up the middle. And Bryant will call a timeout. they got one left. If they get a stop here, they'll have enough time to get downfield for another score. North Dakota State, one for five today on third downs. I don't see them getting this one either. Two tight end set, and they'll run it. Zoomer Speed's got the edge. Does he have the first down? He does. Oh, my goodness. Great play. Tadian Moss on the tackle, and that'll be Tadian's 35th tackle of the year. Great run for Zoomer Speed as he closes in on 700 yards rushing for the year. Now the question is, will North Dakota State run it? Nope, they will throw it. And a quick pass. Cameron Mays got it. Cameron Mays breaking a tackle from Teddy and Moss. He'll pick up the first down. As Kevin Jasper Jr. has completed three passes now on the day. And he'll throw it again here. Play action. And he finds the receiver. Who was it? A non-subscriber receiver. Three of 11 now. I could have swore that was his fourth completion. I must have missed one. And they'll go same play here over the middle. Nice completion. Ryan Erwandowski with the catch. His 20th of the season. They're going no huddle. They have one timeout left, I believe. And they'll go play action again. They're going to go for it all here. And it's caught by the non-subscriber. He's taken down inside the 25-yard line. One of the best drives of the game from North Dakota State. And they come away empty-handed as the time runs out. 11-0 Bryant Bulldogs on top, 21-7 over the 6-5 North Dakota State Bison. And just, that was not how you wanted to end that half. It was a great drive. You had to get some points, but they just ran out of time. Bulldogs, of course, will receive the kickoff to start things up in the second half. Long on for the kickoff. Back deep to return, Brandon Allen. And LJ Telfer. And they will kick it out of bounds. So they're off to a bad start already here in the third quarter. 35 yard line is where Bryant will start the drive. Three turnovers in the first half for North Dakota State. Only one for Bryant. 
High formation. Montanez hot rodding a receiver. And he'll actually hand it off up the middle. Dio Langston can't make the tackle. Well, Zeke Marunde is going to be called for a face mask here. I don't know. That was not Marunde. That was Jones, a non-subscriber uh, linebacker. Slovakia Griffith unhappy again. So many penalties, so many mistakes today for North Dakota State, and it's really costing their team the game. And a huge monumental upset bid, really. First down and one yard to go. Very rarely do you see that. They can do anything with this play. And they decide to throw it. Montanez towards the sideline, caught by the tight end again. Man, I got to know this guy's name. I believe that's his fourth or fifth reception today. And that'll be a first down. A huge first down and one conversion. Montanez in the shotgun. Brandon Allen is on fire, folks. Look out. And they'll hand it off to him up the middle. Breaks a tackle, but a nice tackle up the middle anyway. A very exciting two-yard run. Allen closing in on 2,000 yards rushing. Second down and eight, shotgun formation. They will throw the football, Montanez to the sideline, caught. And that was Brandon Allen, his 24th catch on the year. And that'll bring up third down and two. He has 313 yards receiving on the season on 24 catches. Bryant, three of five today on third downs. Not bad at all. And they're in the shotgun set again. Montanez hands it off to Allen. He's got the first down and more. Still going in the open field. Brandon Allen is gone, folks. Oh, my goodness. He's just too good. You can't stop him. He was untouched. Look at the pancakes down the field. Oh, my goodness. 81 throws a pancake at the last second as well. 40-yard touchdown on Brandon Allen. That's going to put him over 2,000 yards rushing, I believe. Absolutely fantastic. Twenty-eight seven here in Rhode Island. North Dakota State in real trouble right now, getting absolutely blown out. Bryant on for the kickoff. And they'll kick it deep here towards the sideline. And that'll be returned by Zuma Speed from the end zone. And gets up to about the 21-22 yard line. The Bison needs something here. They need it. Gotta get a touchdown. Field goal just is not gonna cut it anymore at this point. But you also don't want to throw the football a whole lot with Calvin Jasper Jr. He's really good on the ground. Throwing it not so much. Owens makes another huge tackle on Zuber Speed, who only has 24 yards on 10 carries today. My goodness. The defense has really focused their entire energy on Zuber Speed and shut down that run game, which has forced Calvin Jasper Jr. to throw the football quite a bit. And it has obviously not been successful for North Dakota State. Second down and 11. Jasper Jr. under center. He'll toss it out. And that's Nanakoke. And he goes absolutely nowhere. My goodness. It doesn't matter who they throw the ball to or toss it to, hand it off to. It just, nothing's working for him. Jasper Jr. in the shotgun. Zoomer speed to his left. He will throw it. He'll try to at least. And it's caught, and there's a fumble, and it is going to be recovered by Bryant. There's another flag on North Dakota State, another holding call on the offensive line. That's declined. Five consecutive completions for Calvin Jasper Jr. This is Stefan Okafor with the forced fumble. That's his fifth on the season. Just a massive hit. 
My goodness. They're just too nasty on defense. If you're looking to be a recruit and you want to be a defensive player, you might want to go to Bryant because they'll show you how it's done. Also, if you want to be an offensive recruit, you can always go over to North Dakota State, help them out, help them be successful. As Montanez picks up maybe five yards here. Twenty-eight seven, second down and six from the twenty-four yard line. Brandon Allen is on fire yet again. And they'll hand it off to him. Draw play, runs over two defenders, three defenders still going in the open field. He's gone again. And oh my goodness. I'm losing my voice, folks. What a run. 24-yard touchdown on right up the gut. Runs over Geo Langston. Oh my goodness, he ran over Austin Bracey as well. Nanako finally tackled him, but it was too late. He was in the end zone. And he just made that look so silly. Oh my goodness. He's so exciting to watch. I lost count of how many touchdowns he has today. Maybe three. If it's three, he's got... Uh, 32 on the season. Well, there's still plenty of time left for North Dakota State, but their defense really has to step it up. Their offense, they need to do some short passes, maybe some slants to Ryan Ermadowski, some out routes to Max Hawthorne. Try some runs up the middle with Cameron May, because the outside runs are not working for them right now. Zoomer Speed has been bottled up all game. Nanako can't run the football either. He's been a real disappointment for this squad this season. And Zoomer Speed will return this one. No, that's Oliver Vincent right up the middle. And hurdles over a defender. Nice move. Gets up to about the 25-yard line. There it is, folks. 31 plays for both teams. 108 yards for North Dakota State. Over 250 for Bryant. And the defense of Bryant has been the biggest difference in this game. They're just so talented. And North Dakota State can't get anything going. And they're going to go play action. Cy Summers is going to force a fumble. And it's recovered by Bryant. Cy Summers with his sixth sack on the season. And his fifth forced fumble of the year. Calvin Jasper Jr. didn't stand a chance on that play. And it's a shame we didn't get a replay of it. Oh my goodness. Summers went through unblocked and laid him out. Great field position again. 35 to seven. Brandon Allen to the outside. He walks in for a touchdown. Oh my goodness. Did you bring a pillow, folks? Because it's about to be a snooze fest for the rest of the game. Wow. 15 yard touchdown run, untouched. 42 to seven, stick a fork in it because I'm pretty sure the Bison are done. I know there's plenty of game left, but it's, it's definitely not trending in their direction. Oh, you're down 35 points here. With three and a half to go in the third quarter, what do you do? Do you try to keep airing it out? Because that hasn't been working. You can't do outside runs. Stephon Okafor and Cy Summers have been there all game waiting for Zoomer Speed and Token Nanako. What can you do? Throwing it hasn't worked. Because Jasper Jr. has uh, three interceptions, I believe. Oliver Vincent breaks another tackle on a kick return. But we have yet to see them try to get Cameron May really involved. I think he has a reception for a first down. And Max Hawthorne. I believe has one catch, possibly. Or maybe he was targeted. But we haven't really seen those guys at all today. And I'm gonna, I, mean, I suspect they're going to keep trying to uh, throw the football. Here's Zoomer Speed gets two yards. That took forever for him to just get past the line of scrimmage. This defense is just swarming to the ball. I just don't see how the Bison can actually get anything going in the positive direction for the remainder of this game. They're down so much. And they keep doing the same play. Zoomer Speed dropped again for a loss. Coleman, the man that has two interceptions, 
with a big tackle for a loss that'll bring up third down and 11 for North Dakota State. They're gonna have to throw it here. Now, who do you go to? Irwindowski has only been open maybe one or two plays all game. Hawthorne, of course, like I said, he hasn't done anything at all. Hasn't made an impact. Maybe try to set up a screen to Zoomer Speed. Get your playmaker the ball, and there's a dropped pass by Ryan Irwindowski. We don't see that very often. He only has a few of them this season. And that's going to bring up fourth down and 11. John Long coming on for the punt. He's averaged 40 yards per punt today. 45-yarder and a 35-yarder. Let's see how this one goes for him. And that one wasn't bad to the 31-yard line. LJ Telfer breaks the tackle and gets it up to the 43. So we're going to see the offense come back out on the field for Bryant. Brandon Allen still in there most likely. He's just been unstoppable today. And he is in the backfield. Two fullbacks as well. And they're going to toss it out. Allen's going to pull up and throw it wide open as the tight end. Oh, my goodness. Second completion for Brandon Allen this season. The other one went for a touchdown to LJ Topher. That'll bring up second down and four now. And you got to suspect that Bryant will put in the backups here in the fourth quarter when it comes along. And nice tackle. Brandon Allen goes to the line of scrimmage. He's got 104 yards today. And nine touch, yeah, nine touchdowns. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how many touchdowns. It feels like nine touchdowns to me. That'll bring up third down and three from the 50-yard line. The crowd's not even getting into it anymore. Half of them filed out. <laughs> this game was over. They didn't want to watch the rest of it. And Montanez is going to keep it himself here. And the Bison get a stop. That was D.O. Langston with a tackle for a loss. Fourth down and five. They're going to punt the football away here. Is this the first punt for Bryant all day? I think so. And that is a very high kick. My goodness. All the way to the 14-yard line. Returned up to about the 19. And that was Oliver Vincent. A minute 20 to go here in the third quarter. Their team down big. Got to try something here. Anything just to get some more points on the board. And they can't hear a thing on that field as Calvin tries to hop out a receiver. Oh, my goodness. Stephon Okafor, another massive hit. He's got six tackles today and a sack and a forced fumble. Oh, my goodness. I feel so bad for Zuma Speed. They just keep they just keep setting him out there to get absolutely hammered by these outside linebackers. Give the man the ball up the middle. I know he's small. But if he gets a couple blocks in the right direction, he can break three for a big score. Come on. You can't just keep doing the same plays and killing your halfback. And that pass goes absolutely nowhere. Jasper getting a little bit of happy feet here as he just throws that one in the dirt. And that's going to bring up third down and 16 for North Dakota State. You see Jasper 10th in the conference for yards. Not very good throwing the football. But he's been pretty good running the football this season. Here's a deep pass, and the receiver never even turned his head. So Jasper not getting any help from his receiving core at all today. Bunch of drops, bunch of plays where they're not even looking at the ball. Definitely a couple underthrows today from him. He did have that nice touchdown pass, but it just hasn't been enough. And we have another flag here offsides on the defense. First flag of the day, I believe, for Bryant. Scott Goldberg, the head coach. Not happy with that call. That'll move him up. It'll be fourth down and 11 now instead of fourth down and 16. John Long on for the punt. LJ Tilford way back to return. And he does have two punt returns for scores this season. Will he get one here today in the final regular season game of the year for them? And he's going to go up the right sideline. Stuck on his own man. That was Brandon Allen that got in his way, I believe. Oh, no, that was number 22 that got in his way. But a great return nonetheless. Bulldog offense coming back on the field here. 
Still got their starters in. 42 seconds left here in the third quarter. Montanez under center. He's going to hand it off. Brandon Allen up the middle. He's going to pick up maybe three yards up the gut. Pretty decent run for him. Not his best of the day. Obviously, he has a lot of highlight runs today. Clock winding down. Let's see if the Bison can get a stop. Get that ball back to the quarterback. Montez is going to actually throw it here. And wide open is Brandon Allen. Luckily for North Dakota State, he steps out of bounds. Because that might have been a, a touchdown. Third down and two. They are four of seven on third downs today. Pretty good. Not great, not terrible, but pretty good. They're in the shotgun. And they're going to hand it off to Brandon Allen. Breaks a tackle, and he gets close to the marker. I'm not sure he got it. And he did not get it. It'll be fourth down in inches. The crowd wants him to go for it. They're so greedy. But the Bulldogs playing, uh, you know, pretty nice right now. They're going to punt the football away. Nice sportsmanship here, but that punt goes way out of the back of the end zone. They might as well have just tried a field goal. 42-7 as we head into the fourth quarter. Get your fours up, folks. Crazy things can happen in college football. You never know. The Bison might come back here and win it. I have seen crazy things, but I don't know if that'll happen. But it'd be nice to see him keep fighting and stop doing toss plays because poor Zoomer Speed has been taking punishment all game long. Oh my goodness. I don't know what these guys are doing. The play <laughs> the game plan has just been pitiful to say the least. Second down of ten. Big formation. Two tight end set. And this time they're gonna go counter. Finally, Zuber Speed gets a crease and gets the first down. That's what I'm talking about. Stop doing the toss plays. 15 carries, 35 yards on the ground. And about 10 or 11 of those were all toss plays. Had a couple options that worked. And now a counter. But they basically just went to the same play over and over again out of different formations. It's been awful to watch. Speed is going to need a big ice bath after this game. Single back set, one tight end. Play action. Calvin pressured. Finds his open man. He's got the first down and more. And I believe that is Max Hawthorne, his first catch of the game for 15 yards. Hawthorne now with 580 yards receiving on 24 catches. He also has five touchdowns on the season. Just five minutes remaining in the game. Odd formation. And they'll go play action again. And Cameron Mays got it. Cameron Mays got the first down. That looks like the same play that they ran with him earlier in the game. And don't pay attention to all of these total offense stats because they're not accurate. There's no way North Dakota State has averaged 600-plus yards per game because only, like, three players even have over 600 yards on the ground or receiving all year. Jasper on the option, pitches it late to Zoomer Speed. He's got the first down and more, and up to the 20-yard line. This drive has been a breath of fresh air from the Bison. They're in the red zone, threatening to score on the fourth-ranked Bryant Bulldogs. Single back set, two tight ends on the left side of the screen. And they'll go play action again, Jasper. Sets it out to Max Hawthorne. Breaks a tackle. Max Hawthorne is in the end zone. Ryan Erwodowski laying two people out in the secondary. And that is Hawthorne's sixth touchdown of the game, or the season, excuse me. Kevin Jasper Jr. with a 17th touchdown pass. My goodness, what a truck right there. And of course, Ryan Erwodowski leveling uh, a defensive back out there as well. But I've been preaching it all game. you got to get Hawthorne the football. He's a mismatch nightmare for linebackers. He's too big for them. He's too fast for them. With an extra point, it'll be 42-14, making it look a little more respectable as the Bison try to climb back in this game. 
And it is 42-14 now. Four and a half minutes remaining in the game. Just playing for pride now. Still down four touchdowns. And they got to stop the Bryant offense again. They're going to go for an onside kick, it looks like here. I think it might be a little too early for that. John Long on for the kick. And they do attempt the onside kick, and it wasn't even close. They kicked it right to the Bryant player. Now, sometimes that works. You'll get a lucky bounce. It'll bounce off of a face mask or something. But not right there. They should have just kicked it deep. Now Bryant has great field position at the Bison 44-yard line. They got their backups in, though. Mitchell to throw it deep downfield. He's a little rusty. He doesn't get a whole lot of playing time. And you got to expect them to run the football here with A.J. Jordan, who is also a beast. He could be a starter on any college in the nation. Single back set. One tight end. Mitchell under center. And they're going to go play action to throw it again here. And it is dropped by the fullback who's out there playing some tight end. I really don't agree with throwing the football two plays in a row with your backup quarterback. I would just pound the rock with A.J. Jordan. He's been phenomenal this season. Filling in for Brandon Allen. He is a starter on several formations as he gets a carry here. Taken down by Dio Langston with a great tackle. Only picking up two yards. But A.J. Jordan, he's got two or three formations that he is the starting running back for. And the rest has been Brandon Allen. That's why A.J. Jordan has ran for over 1,000 yards this year and 16 scores. Bryant with a rare punt today. Just the second time, I believe. And that punt goes in the back of the end zone, but was the player out of bounds? Nope. So that will be a touchback. It looked like the Bryant Bulldog player touched the ball when he was out of bounds inside the five-yard line. But I guess since it bounced into the end zone after that, it is a touchback. So a lucky break for uh, North Dakota State. And they keep trying to run the football. It's not working even against the backups for Bryant. Sooner Speed got nothing on that one. 3.45 to play now. And it looks like he actually lost some yards on that play. So another negative run for Zoomer Speed today. And they keep going with the toss plays. This time it works, though. He's got a first down and more. Stuck behind his offensive lineman. Still going. Gets a block. Zoomer Speed to the house. Oh, my goodness. Is there any flags? There's no flags. Zoomer Speed with a huge touchdown. And that was actually Jake Harlow out leading the way. Sealing that final block on Tatum for the touchdown. A.J. Jordan couldn't catch him. He's out there playing some linebacker now for the backup defense. So, not really a fantastic run. I mean, if you consider that he's going up against, you know, the JV squad. But a huge 80-yard touchdown run nonetheless for Zuber Speed. He has been a breath of fresh air for this offense, exploding against Sam Houston State and now having a nice, nice run here against Bryant. That brings them back within three touchdowns. And it'll be interesting to see if Bryant will send on their starters on offense again after going three and out in the one drive they had their backups in. Will North Dakota State attempt an onside kick again? It looks like they will. Hopefully they have better success this time around. And it was pretty much the same exact thing. Oh my goodness. Just to a different player. Bryant about to send their offense back out in the field. And they do still have their backups in. They're not worried about it. Let's see if they'll actually run the football, though. Run this clock out. And they'll hand it off to A.J. Jordan. Oh my goodness, he got rocked. That was Zeke Marunde. My goodness. He's playing angry right now. I like it. He's really come on strong late in the season. In the first four or five weeks, he didn't really do a whole lot. He had a couple plays here and there that he showed flashes of greatness. But the second half of the season, he has been fantastic for this subscriber list defense. 
Second down and 11. Goal line formation as the clock ticks under three minutes to play in the game. Mitchell hands it off to the fullback, and the fullback breaks free for a six-yard pickup. Sees an average of 316 yards rushing, only 123 today. Of course, the subscriber versus subscriber games are quite a bit different than when I am playing the games myself. Shotgun set for Mitchell. And the third string halfback is now in the game. They drain the clock. They're going to throw the football, though. The halfback was wide open. Mitchell just took forever to sling it out there. And the Bison get a nice stop. They got a chance here. Plenty of time left. They got three timeouts. Oh, my goodness. Bryant is going to go for it. This could finish the game off if they get it. Doesn't look like any subscriber players are on offense. So can the Bison stop him? They find the fullback and he gets the first down. Oh no. The backup against the starting defense for North Dakota State. Pick up a first down. And they'll be able to run most of this clock out now. Of course, North Dakota State does have three timeouts left. But it's not really going to make a big difference if they get another first down here. Hand it off. And that... Now uh, the third string halfback goes backwards for a three yard loss. And the clock will be ticking down. They won't start calling timeouts until around the one minute mark. But who knows, Bryant might throw the football here. They've been doing it quite a bit here with the backups for some reason. Tick, 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 tick. Mitchell will hand it off to the halfback again. He's got the first down, and we're still going, and he's going to score. Oh, my goodness. 33-yard touchdown run for the third-string halfback as Bryant is just exploding on offense. So many big runs today. Doesn't matter who they get the football to. And that's going to make it 49-21 to 21 with an extra point here as Bryant puts this game out of reach. A valiant effort today by the Bison defense. It was just too much. Brandon Allen is just too good, too hard to handle. Apparently so is that third string halfback. But that'll make it 49-21. As Zoomer Speed and Oliver Vincent are back deep to return. Can we see some fireworks? Can we see a kick return for a touchdown? Oliver Vincent has a bunch of them this year. Zoomer Speed has four kick returns for touchdowns. It would only be fitting if they had another one here. And this kick is to Oliver Vincent. He's going to kneel it down in the end zone for a touchback. With a minute 23 left on the clock. Will they continue to throw the football? Zuber Speed and Brandon Allen, players of the game. Four touchdowns for Allen, one touchdown for Speed. And they're going to hand it off. Cameron May right up the middle. This is what they should have been doing all game long. Cameron May picks up 20 yards. And that gets North Dakota State into the positive yardage territory for runs up the middle. And Cameron May, I'm not sure what exactly you're celebrating. I, I mean, you're down by four touchdowns, bub. And he just cost your team 15 yards after you had a great run. And this has basically been the whole game. A lot of turnovers and just a lot of mental mistakes and some immaturity here by Cameron May. They're going to hand it off to him again and <laughs> some justice. He's going to lose a yard on the run. A.J. Jordan, the halfback in there, playing some linebacker, getting the tackle for a loss. So a little bit of irony there, backing his team up two plays in a row after a great run. Second down and 26. 59 seconds left in the game. Zoomer Speed gets another toss play. Gets the edge again down the sideline. Zoomer Speed down to the 41-yard line of Bryant. 
he has had three good runs, maybe four good runs all game, and the rest of it, he was averaging two yards per carry. It's just been a pretty crazy game. Most of his yardage from a handful of carries. And, of course, a couple big runs here against the backup defense. And we'll see if they'll probably end up running the football with him again. No play action. Calvin is almost picked off again. And that was intended for the slot receiver, non-subscriber player. And that'll leave 49 seconds left on the clock. Bison with one timeout left. Jasper on the option, stuffed, and he's taken out for a loss of three yards. That was not a good run. Negative three yards rushing for him today. Just a very poor performance by the offensive line. Two of nine on third down conversions today. It's been very ugly. Third down and 12. Jasper, pressure, throws off his back foot. Almost picked off by A.J. Jordan. Out there playing phenomenal defense. Who knows, maybe he'll be the next Mason Smith halfback linebacker hybrid. John Long on for the punt. And back deep to return. Who knows? The backups are in. And they've got a safe return on. And that is a very high kick. And that's going to go way in the back of the end zone yet again. So with 13 seconds left, I'm expecting a kneel down here to finish this game off. From Zach Mitchell, the backup quarterback. And they do come out in victory formation. And I don't know why he's hot routing anyone right now. And that's it, folks. The Bryant Bulldogs are going to finish the regular season 12 and 0 and head out to take on the number one ranked Savannah State Tigers who are also 12 and 0 on the season in the ACC championship game in a battle of the juggernauts. That is going to be a crazy game. I expect some fireworks in that game. MJ Gator Jr., Brandon Allen facing off. Whoever wins that game will most likely win the Heisman Trophy. So a lot is at stake. You got a chance at a national championship game. The winner takes home the ACC title. And you're going to win the Heisman, one of you. Pretty even in yards today for these squads. Of course, most of it for the Bison came in the fourth quarter against the backups. So that doesn't really hold any water. But they did, uh, they did score seven points in the first three quarters against the starters. So... Got to work on what worked, you know, keep going, doing what worked in the, those first three quarters. Don't even really pay attention to the fourth quarter because you can't really judge it against third string players. But Brandon Allen, great day for him. Bunch of touchdowns, six broken tackles, two 20 plus yard runs. He also had three catches, 16 yards. Snoopy Tucker, three catches, 92 yards, two touchdowns. LJ Topher, only one catch today for eight yards. And blocking today, Kenneth Harrington, seven pancakes, zero sacks allowed. That's going to give him 92 pancakes this season with one sack allowed. Cy Summers, Stephon Okafor, 12 tackles combined and a bunch of tackles for a loss. A couple forced fumbles. Those guys are animals. Why any team would try to run to the outside against Bryant is just beyond me. I, I don't have the answers for it. Look at that. So many tackles for a loss. And most of those were them trying to run the football to the outside. You can't do it against this team. They've got Ruben Blueberry on the same exact side as Stephon Okafor. They've got Owens, a non-subscriber defensive end who has been balling this season, on the same side as Cy Summers. You've got Divine Adams in the middle. I mean, you cannot run it against this, against this team. It was just not a good matchup for North Dakota State. <laughs> They definitely pulled the short straw on this one. Nothing crazy on special teams today for Bryant. And a couple nice returns for Oliver Vinson, uh, North Dakota State. Jasper Jr., 9 of 22, 122 yards, two touchdowns, three picks. 
And he was sacked three times as well. This offensive line got completely destroyed. Zoomer speed, 167 yards and a touchdown along with 80. He got half his yards on one carry. He had seven broken tackles, three 20-plus yard runs, and one fumble today. That'll give him two fumbles on the season. Gamer May, two catches today. That'll give him 11 on the season. Jake Harlow, four pancakes. That'll give him 38 on the season. He also allowed a sack. That'll give him 11 sacks allowed. Theo Langston led the team in tackles with five at two for a loss. That'll give him 13 tackles for a loss this year and 39 tackles. He also has four sacks. Five tackles for a loss today for the Bison defense. Three tackles for Zeke Morunde. That gives him 54 on the season. Like I said, he's come on strong really, really well late in the season. He's done quite a bit for that defense. Austin Bracey was the focal point of the defense for the first half of the year. And it's like him and Zeke switch places. Well, that's it for this game, guys. I will see you soon with the Dayton Flyers taking on the Delaware Fighting Blue Hens. Take it easy, guys.